Battlefield Hardline multiplayer. Um, played it for a bit now. Um, it's not offering anything particularly different. Um, as far as I can see, it's not offering much different from the original sort of playthroughs. Yes, a few hours, a few hours in Battlefield Hardline, it's not really offering much different from the other battlefields, uh, like Battlefield Three and Four, definitely. Um, it's it feels too slow paced to me now, and I don't know what that is, but I just feel like the movement is just off and it's missing something. And I really enjoyed Battlefield Four. And I don't know whether that's because I played it on the PC and it was a different kind of experience, but I also played it on the console and I, I didn't think it was that far off. But this was just feels off. And the other thing that is, is a massive. Very used to the uh, aim there. And the other thing that feels massively off is the visuals. They just aren't good. Like, I can't really describe it in any other way other than they are not. Med kit over here! Um, I don't remember how good they were in Battlefield 4 on the console, but certainly this just doesn't seem too acceptable anymore. Um, it's 720p on the Xbox One, it's 900p on the PlayStation 4, which 900p, not gonna make too many complaints about. It's okay when it's upscaled. Um, Titanfall looks decent on the on. Um, this does not look good, 720p upscaled. The edges are horrible. Um, I think it's um, the most that I've played through is I've played the sort of bank robbery stuff, which is just kind of it just keeps things moving a little bit different. Um, sure, what I've got there. Anyway, um, not, it's not too different. It's just moving objectives, um, and the other one seems to that you everyone seems to be playing. It's just playing conquest, which essentially you might as well just be playing the other battlefield because I think that was the only ones that I've played were a little bit better at doing that. Um, I got him. Hey, we need backup. I got him. That's how we get sniped from up somewhere. Uh, so it just plays like any other Battlefield game. Really, it's it's probably it's the easiest way to sort of describe it would be it's like a Battlefield game, but it's not quite as good as the other Battlefield. Um, but it certainly doesn't offer anything else that's new. The actual playability of it, like I am actually able to play this one. Certainly something new, Battlefield which was unplayable. Um, I mean, I, put, I think I put 200 hours into that one on the PC, and it certainly was better for me when it came out than um, that one. Um, it, it was certainly better for me on the PC, and then it went worse. Um, and on the console, the only experience I had was later on, it was really poor, like rubber banded all over the place. This feels better, and um, there are still moments when I just feel like my mood. Um, yeah, stuff. Um, it just doesn't feel that fun to play anymore. Um, and certainly now we've lost the massive scale of the other. That revolutions. Um, the destruction of things on a different scale of Battlefield 4 definitely added some new to it that wasn't Battlefield 3. But as you just play through this, it kind of it's just like it's just a blurry version of a better Battlefield. Oh, yeah, it's just a blurry version of a better Battlefield game. Um, I've covered my thoughts on the single player, and there's nothing there for you. Um, change for me is really done. This stuff is a. It helps to market the game as a new one without invading on the already established Battlefield Four and Battlefield Three, and obviously the upcoming Battlefield Five. Um, and kind of, or it, it just serves to, to validate itself in the game and make sure that there's actually a reason for it to exist. The only thing. Um, other than that, it's kind of nice for their marketing. It's just. Throwing frag. 
Noxious had just come to us. Noxious is really fine. Um, more swearing in it now because that's more edgy and cool and that's obviously it. Um, Over here, med kit. Destruction, as far as I've seen so far, with a limited, limited sort of reason or, or whatever, however you want to describe it. Oh my god, it's camping now. Um, it's just a limited amount of destruction that doesn't really change the game that much. Like, yeah, sure, the walls have gone through here. Um, never really. Not anything that could be couldn't be done in a different game, and it certainly isn't now. So, by trying to make it more like Call of Duty and nicking Call of Duty crowd, make it over here. Marginalised itself. Uh, it's actually a waste of time. Feels a little bit more fluid. Whether or not you like the stupid jetpack and stuff, um, you. Tag that one. Uh, you. I mean, one of the reasons that I don't really like Battlefield that much anymore, especially not on the console, is just that. Too miserable about it. It's something to do. I, I'm, I'm not. Oh, Christ. Um, I'm not playing this. I, I've not bought this game outright. I bought this on um, EA Best Thing Trial Game just to see what I think, and it's told me enough not to buy it. The same old crap XPs and locking stuff. Jump, 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 jump. I'd much rather rather be playing something like Counter Strike or one of the older battlefields that at least tries to represent a large scale warfare or does something different um, and just tries to be the exact same thing that we've seen times over because to me it just makes it pointless. Um, especially this level that's coming up, the one that was in the beta, it's just Chaos in Cormac or by Battlefield standards, and I, it, the cynic inside me just suggests that maybe we are looking at a game that has been uh, worked and used down to the smallest scale they could possibly get properly on a console as well. Think about the size of the map. Um, could be would be my rose tinted glasses but to me it feels a little bit like that's cool and um, it just feels a little bit like to me that they've reduced the game down to make it work on consoles um, a little bit better or it could um, not blaming consoles certainly for it because they should have enough Um, the other thing that I might suggest it is, is because they realised that their netcode actually handled Battlefield on such a large scale that they've now toned it down across all platforms. This is live, unless of course they can do something. Yeah, we got a <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm probably done with this game now. I thought it'd be nice to just. However rambling they are, um, um, just get someone who's got an Xbox One or play your own Xbox One if you've got one for give it a trial for four quid. It's maybe six hours. It's enough to make up the fine. Whether or not you want to sink an extra hundred hours into gear, the XP grind for a game that's not really offering it for you. Um, it's certainly a worse version of itself than it should be. Um, you make your mind up. Um, I'm just a Come on, come on! Zip line, play! I got this guy! Hey! This guy is down! Here come the grenade, sucker! Get that grenade! Got 
a guy pinned down! Shit! Lock, take some ammo! I got this fucker! Make it ready! 